As the Vice President of the Allergen Students and New Professionals Network, I was invited by the CIHR to participate in the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. I joined an audience, an exclusive audience of around 100 women and girls at the Facebook Canada headquarters to celebrate this event which featured two members of parliament, the Honourable Kirsty Duncan, the Canada's Minister for Science, and the Honourable Maria Monsef, the Minister for the Status of Women. This event featured a panel discussion by Canadian, hosted by Canadian entrepreneur Erica M. And the discussion featured the challenges and opportunities facing women in STEM careers, where STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, I was particularly inspired by the panelists' own success stories and by their discussion of how to encourage the full participation of women and girls in these careers. And I was very lucky to have the chance to speak with the um, uh, Canadian ministers after the event as well. Allergen has been instrumental in helping me and uh, fellow women advance in their careers in science. Um, from funding for research visits, travel awards, um, this has allowed me to work with amazing other women in science at a higher level. For example, Dr. Teresa Toe at the Hospital for Sick Children, um, who's an allergen researcher and former allergen trainee Dr. Jennifer Pertuger when I was on an allergen-funded research visit to the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm in Sweden. And uh, the support of allergen has helped me get to a place where I feel that I can help to mentor other young women in science to help them to reach their highest potential in their careers.